What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 34 or 35. I'm not sure which order I'm gonna release them in, but uh, doing stuff with Aaron, and that's me. That's Veronica. We're in Manning Park. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, my buddy bought a house way off in a place called uh, Princeton, British Columbia, and uh, we're gonna help him do his floors this weekend. So, uh, looking forward to it. Should be fun. <laughs> Definitely an adventure, so we're in the right category. Uh, I can't wait to show you. So welcome to this, another wonderful edition of Doing Stuff with Aaron. That's me. Hey everybody. Welcome back to Doing Stuff with Aaron. Uh, it's been two days since we last picked up with each other. I haven't been filming at all. I just kind of want to live in the moment at my buddy's place here. That's where I am. I'm in uh, Princeton, British Columbia. My buddy bought a big acreage, so I thought I'd come up here and uh, help him out, get him settled. Look where I am. Look at this place behind me. There's a main cabin with four little cabins there. I think you could buy it for like 650 grand. But uh, it turned into a winter wonderland today. There was already a bit of snow, but uh, we got a good, well, you know, you can see that. That's how much came tonight. A good six inches or so. Dude, check this out. <laughs> There's a, a working phone booth in the middle of nowhere here. It's like... <laughs> Focus. <laughs> when was the last time you saw one of these? It's working. 50 cents. Make a phone call. Anyways, it's my buddy's property. Pretty much my dream property. Let's go take a look. So he's uh, right on something called the Trans Canada Trail. You've seen in my few other videos where I've uh, had steak by the river on the Trans-Canada Trail and uh, literally if you walk down this you can head to that place where I cooked uh, in those other videos. 46 kilometers to Princeton or so. There's a speed limit sign. <laughs> People must ride their quads and uh, snowmobiles on this trail I would have to imagine. So, so we gotta fix that uh, entry point there. There's Veronica. It's so absolutely beautiful here. So over here is, that's the uh, common room cabin, which is just kind of like a living room with a mini kitchen, wood stove. Behind there is a, an actual teepee. Couple greenhouses, little shed. In behind the common room, there is a hot tub and a sauna. There's the main cabin, followed by the wood shed and the tool shed behind that. You know, we got our snowboard, snowblower set up here, little outhouse. And then my cabin last night was this little guy right here. So this has got a little loft upstairs and two beds. We'll cut to that video right now where I took uh, earlier this morning. Well, good morning. This is uh, the cabin I stayed in last night. Focus. You can see it's a little one bedroom cabin on my buddy's land here. There's a little loft upstairs. A little shower, a little bathroom. It's a little kitchen. And uh, the sink. And you can see out to the rest of the property here. There's a, a cabin here. There's another cabin down there in the distance underneath the... Uh, can you see it there? There it is. By the river. A little stream. And then over here you've got... Uh, let's see, that's a woodshed. And there's a cabin there. Another cabin here. It's just a storage shed here. And there's a woodshed back there. Then there's the main cabin. 
and then over in the distance here is uh, the common room cabin and then behind there is the TP. it's pretty sweet I'll take you outside and uh, I'll take you outside and we'll go for a walk uh, I've been working with my buddy here putting the floors down for the last couple days working <laughs> Uh, I'll take you for a walk outside and show you the rest of the property uh, before I show off for the day. And then so out here you have a little fire pit there. <laughs> so what do we got here? A little fire pit. Actually that's the uh, Coles pit. But the fire pit is uh, right here. And then we got ourselves a little, a little sit down covered area to eat there. And then we can walk over to the uh, next cabin. This one's not powered up right now. I tried to sleep in it the first night, but it was like minus 11, and uh, I wasn't terribly prepared for that. Still gotta make the bed. But there's a little cabin right there. And then you can come down here over the little river. If you can call this a river. It's more like a stream. We've got a little sitting area out front here. And then inside this cabin, we got a little wood fire stove, a couple bunks. That's a neat little setup. So the property goes off in that direction as well. Yeah, I don't want to walk down that ramp. So, continuing on. I'll stay on the trail here. To cabin number three. Awesome dart set up on the side there. That's just like a storage shed that was almost used as a portable washroom. In here we got ourselves a little uh, shower and a little clawfoot tub. It smells like a sauna in here. Ooh, some light reading while you take your soak in the tub. So sorry, this isn't cabin three, this is washroom. Got ourselves a little wood shed here. That toilet here was in that storage shed over there, but it didn't work out for the previous owner, so it's been deprecated. Awesome little spot to uh, chop wood here. This would be cabin number three or four. <laughs> Chelsea's Pine Palace. Apparently, they're going to change that name. And here's this little one here as well. Oh, this one has heat. Let's see if this one's working. Oh. Just stayed in this room. So those are the little cabins, which you'll be able to rent. Or stay in for free if you're me and my family. <laughs> okay, let's go check out the main cabin here and the teepee. Awesome little uh, mudroom here, a little bat house up at the top here in the main cabin with the compost and here's the tool shed the uh, previous owner left him a whole bunch of tools so we need to sort through all this but there's a chainsaw pressure washer there's like four nail guns compressor 
Makita drill, a bunch of work lights back there, all sorts of fittings. There's a ch chop saw right there. Great score if you ask me. Paint gun. Another wood uh, shed there. We'll do the cabin last because I believe the uh, guy doing the floors is uh, sleeping still. fire pit where we had our fires last night it's still smoking I lit it two days ago I haven't lit it since I just keep putting wood on it, it keeps starting up <laughs> and down here is the wood fired hot tub the wood fired sauna hey Little storage, uh, storage room in here is this. Oh yeah, this is your little washroom in here. Forgot about that. And then come up here. So we're trying to walk up these stairs in the snow. Oh. Got a little fruit tree right here. I say apples uh, to the teepee. This is amazing. A legitimate teepee commissioned by the previous owner. So that tarp goes on the ground. You can have a fire right in the middle there. Let's see how it looks. I'm not going to go all the way in. But this was made by Makwa teepees in Vancouver, BC. So my buddy's gonna have them out to uh, come take a look at this thing again and make sure it's all set up properly. I love this, it's fantastic. A couple more outhouses out here and then the greenhouses. So this was apparently a meditation space at one point, not so much anymore. <laughs> Another greenhouse. It definitely needs some work. So much potential though. This is exciting, I like this. Apparently it gets a little trailer too. I haven't looked in here yet. Nice, that's handy to take stuff to the dump. <laughs> Excuse me. And let's see the uh, common room. In the common room, a bunch of mishmash of the previous owner's stuff. So literally we're on day two here, so we need to clean it all up. But uh, that wood stove was fantastic. And then last but not least, we'll do the house. So out here we have a little outdoor washroom. Morning, Peter. Good morning. Anybody in here? So in here, a little washroom that smells like the morning activities of three men in the forest. <laughs> Don't go in there for 35, 45 minutes. 
<laughs> All three of us have been in there, it looks like, this morning. It retains the smell very well. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> that was just my brand, apparently. <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter thought that because they're in that building. I there was a floater in that wall. Oh, no, know. I won't touch that wall. I came man, fish left the floater. Dude, I was shitting the, I was shitting the forest first. <laughs> <laughs> There's a floater. <laughs> And then here's the here's the main cabin. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, the floors are in the process of going in. Nice gray floor, big old fireplace in the front there. Maybe new cabinets. I would imagine see a new stove coming soon. And this is the best. Man, do I think this is awesome? Wood fired stove. Come on. Little mud, little uh, mud room in here, nothing special. And then in here you've got the one bedroom that uh, is in need of a lot of cleanup, but as you can imagine, a little bathroom here, a shower behind the door, and then this would be like uh, an office or or another uh, bedroom for their kids. And then the cool thing, you know, if I was a kid, this little ladder goes upstairs to the loft. You turn the light on up here. Oh, there it is. One sec, folks. I got the light on here for you. Ugh. And up here is this neat little space. This was like a yoga retreat or something like that before uh, my buddy bought it. And... Uh, there's a little area in there too. So this is a neat little area up here to hang out. I'm sure his kid's gonna love it up here if this is uh, where he decides to put his bedroom. I know I would. I, would, I know I would if I lived here as a kid. But yeah, buddy's got a bunch of acres to play with. They seem very happy. I'm sure they'll enjoy themselves. I am so jealous. I love this place. This is like my dream property. And uh, I'm excited that they invited me up for the first few days. So congratulations to you two guys, and uh, I wish you well in your new homestead. Hey, let's get some uh, wood and oh, the whole the whole wheelbarrow full up with snow.
partner? Cool. Thanks, buddy. Okay, a short and sweet episode. Man, I, I can't leave. I keep procrastinating. It's quarter after one, and I've got like a three to five hour drive at least to get home, so it's time to go. <laughs> Look at Veronica, the poor thing. I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> we'll be stopping at a car wash as soon as uh, we're out of this mess, that's for sure. Episode 35, I guess, of doing stuff with Aaron at my buddy's house in Princeton. Can't wait to come back. Take care, everybody. Okay. I uh, decided to shovel my buddy's driveway here for yet another reason to procrastinate.
slicker inside a washing machine. <laughs>